Okay, I'm back and attempting maybe the near impossible, but I'm trying to get something done in a certain amount of time before the rain comes because it will be days and days before we get to do this again. So I have a nice gallery wrap, two inch edge, 20 by 20 canvas that I've been look, thinking about looking at and I've done spirals and sun shapes in the past. I can't put it on my tile the way I want to, so I'm kind of poking it and I might <laughs> might have a problem with that. I'm using this really ancient Dodge hubcap as a guide because I want to make a bowl of scooped colors and hopefully I have a little blaster out here. Yes, I do. And I'll probably put that in the bottom. I might put it on top of the bottom color, just a little squirt. I'm going to use black, hopefully around the edges, and that'll be able, that'll be nice to be touch up. Yeah, I can't talk. That'll be good to be able to touch up the edges later black. Yeah, I'm going to just keep touching my tummy right to that point. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to start by making a circle at a, at a width out that's somewhat uniform. And then I'm just going to keep adding paint to it. expecting to use my big spatula. It's not a super hot day. It's almost 80 or around 80. It's kind of dark here today. I haven't really thought this through a tremendous amount, but I think we can do this thing. I want to do it, so you're here along for the ride. Looks like a lot more paint on that side. And I'm really wishing my turntable would work right now. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Hey, <laughs> sometimes things just work out. That's perfect. That's what I need right now. That, but not that bug. Thank you. Go away. I'm not going to worry about anything dripping over the sides. We've got, you know, 19 minutes-ish left. I'm going to pick up that hubcap in a minute. I love the turntable. And I'm not worried about any of that excess paint there because I am expecting my scooped paint and maybe I need a bigger dish than the one I'm using. Or maybe I don't. I guess we'll just try it the way it is in a minute as soon as I make sure I have all my little bits and pieces covered to the edge. Because as long as it's to the edge, I'm not really going to worry about anything else later. And I even used my smaller of my two spatulas. Good grips. Buy yourself a good grips soft edge silicone spatula. You will not regret it. That is this. Anyway, hmm, there's a puddle here from the last rainstorm and I just stepped in it. Perfect. All right, little spatula goes in the bucket. Now, I have been craving some purple, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna do a spiral. I'm gonna do a sun shape and I'm gonna try and do it with things that actually squeeze out of bottles. Okay, that's not that. And I'm gonna take my silicone and I'm gonna take it, this blaster, I'm gonna take it away from the black because I don't want it on it. A nice little splooge went right in there on everything. I'm going to take the end of this nasty pink I'm always saying works well as a contrasting color. And I've mixed a bunch of pearl, which if it's right here will be very convenient, but I'm not seeing it. Where did it go? It doesn't matter. I'm going to put a little black in there and some orange. And I don't care how ugly the colors look because by the time I spoon it out, they're really going to be whatever they want to be. And I'm going to choose them as I go. I'm definitely not going to... Oh, really? Okay, fine. Be that way. Okay, I guess we're going to do a little color shift turquoise dump. Wow, that was a lot. I thought that that tip was not clogged, and I was wrong. <laughs> I know this one isn't. We're making some interesting cells right there in that dish, which is kind of cool. I'm a little short on my favorite color. I didn't put any yellow. A little short means we're out. I have similar. I liked how that looked in there. I think it's always nice for me to use, yes, some red. Because it's a magenta red and it, whoop. Okay, there goes the top. My most valuable possession are tops to squeeze bottles. 
that right back there. What else do I want in there? I just want some amazing contrast is what I want. And I have around here somewhere, and there we go. Because of the rain comes down behind me off the roof on the shed that my studio is in, I usually put my paint there and it's not there. So when I'm looking for it and not finding it, that's why. I am going to grab some of that green and I'm going to finish up with the yellow. Probably have more paint than I need here. Please, butterfly, don't land in my painting. I haven't used any of that turquoise yet. That orange is looking pretty dominant. I didn't use any of that purple. Ooh, cool. Yeah, I like that. Hopefully that works out. What am I looking for? I am looking for this beautiful metallic purple that is made from my favorite color. And if we need something else, i.e. that yellow, yep, that's what I wanted. Okay. I didn't ever find the pearl. That's weird. Where did you go, Pearl? I think it's in a different bottle. I think I switched bottles on myself. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside for a moment. I have my freezer paper down today, which is neither here nor there because we'll probably not use it. And I still want that Pearl, but I'm not finding it. Come on, Pearl. Jog your memory. I think whatever this is, white is necessary. Especially if it splooges in. Perfect. I know you didn't see that. All right, so I can't tip this, and that's kind of too bad. But what I can do is something I've never done before, which is try and lead my colors out. And then if I want to, in the end, I'll just rain X things. <laughs> really nice that turntable is working today because I think that's going to be a bonus. Cool. So far so good. Just space them evenly apart. We'll finish with a ring, hopefully. Hopefully you can see everything. These colors are pretty cool. I'm liking them a lot. Not bothering me a bit. I'd like to get this done before the rain comes. I'm going to go over here because I like those patterns in there. I don't know what I'm going to do in the center. It might be gold. It might not. I tried to look up. Oh, I guess I'm going to be doing that in the center. I guess that doesn't really matter. Honest to God. I'm just going to move this a little closer. I'm kind of missing the darker orange color, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and add some of that back. I leveled my platform, so hopefully the paint won't run everywhere this time. Let's decide to only do two there. Maybe I should just do the whole center <laughs> with my remaining paint. That might be okay, you know? We have some nice colors there. I'm liking that. And I can always fill in. And what I'm thinking is, I was kind of contemplating using a paillette. Something to... I'm going to use my bowl as a shield as I fill in. Get some really interesting patterns. I haven't overdone the paint. As far as I can tell yet. This is all new to me. Oh, I did not remember to turn the music off. Oh, clever girl. That sucks. <laughs> I try so hard to remember everything. I'm getting pretty happy with this, though, I gotta say. Good color choices, for Priscilla. My inclination is just to say, leave it until tomorrow. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is take advantage of the fact that I have a dish of color in front of me. And lead some more right off. 
I like what I've got, but this is an experiment. And the nature of the beast says, try stuff. <laughs> My beast says, try stuff. The birds are bitching. <laughs> That's funny. They know the rain is coming. This is so cool. I'm really liking this a lot. Yeah, usually I would blow with tubing or a straw to make my wiggly lines, but in this case I have the paint and I am using the spoon. That's weird. We must have a lump in there. Okay, be that way, lump. I'm not going to worry about that. I don't know how much line of demarcation we're going to be able to keep in between things, but um, so far I'm loving the way the colors are changing all the way around. It is going to leave me with a little bit of extra paint, but I have those restaurant containers and I have lids for them and I will probably be willing to use them. I hear the rain. Okay, well maybe we'll get lucky <laughs> and it won't deluge on me. And I put my paints in the right place. I just won't be getting a wet photograph of this. All right, that's cool. I like it. I'm tempted to put a black circle around the inside just because we're here right now, I think. You gotta do what inspiration tells you to do. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna take my perfect little spatula. Is it going to be the round one or the flat one? Let's try with the flat one first. Push it right out there. Just push it into the edge. Nothing spectacular. I think I judged the amount of paint I could use correctly. We have still got enough time left to do this thing. Nothing seems to be running off. Everything seems to be working out except for the rain factor. And it's not too hard. I can only hear pitter pattering on my tent roof. What I'm thinking is that I'm gonna use the remaining paint I have in my dish and just put it right in the center. I may put another color in. I really wanted to do the Rain-X experiment and I may still do that. That might be amazing. I wish I had a whole to just keep it to the center. I'm getting some, kind of some canvas showing through, so I'm going to try and give it a bit of a smooth out. I'm really happy with this. This is fun. This is a really fun piece. I'm glad I did this. It's nice when you have the confidence in your abilities to know that uh, if you're going to take an expensive canvas, and try and experiment that you, chances are fairly decent that it'll work out. Just gonna keep doing that. There's no perfection in circles in this particular moment. You get what you get. We're getting something pretty good. I'm happy anyway. That's very cool. And I really am still thinking about the rain X. I can go in, what can I do? I can do all kinds of stuff, but what I want to do right now is take this original dish of color and put some of my favorite colors in there, including my maybe not so favorite color. Of course, that's, I'm also gonna have a lot of extra paint again. That is the way it goes. I think it needs to be Dominantly sun colors. Yeah. Ooh, some of that melted down to the bottom. Is it going to come out? No. Yes. Ah, oh, we like that. Okay. So let's find the original orange and the red, and maybe some more pink. And splujeruja. Today's non-word. Splujeruja. <laughs> I'm getting very goofy. I really wish I'd found that pearl. That would have made me very happy. Take some of that, put it in there, even though I never say anything particularly nice about it. Maybe a little more of that. I kind of want some black in there, but I don't know that that's the right thing to do. And I want some lighter pink, and I have some over here. Yes, I do. I don't want anything that's too awful close. I 
like it to look nice before I put it in there too. I guess maybe that would imply some gold. Or not. <laughs> All right, this is a leap of faith right here. And I have a spoon that has paint in it, but I think it's gonna be okay. So, so, I want more contrast in that. I have some dark purple, I'm putting it in there. I know it was off camera, but you'll forgive me when the end result turns out well. Hopefully I can get out of here. I need more contrast. or out and that just some texture out how do we find that out without ruining it <laughs> all right let's just do it is there such a thing as too much texture there may be this might work anyway Still interesting. I am not swiping this out. I'm not giving up. And I used up most of my colors. I don't know if I'm super thrilled with how they turned out on the inside of the sun, but I'm kind of feeling. Really? They were turning a minute ago. 